Let's go back to the phone lines, talk to John. He's listening in Piedmont, Missouri, Sirius XM 131. Hi, John. Hi, Hank. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Pleasure. Listen to you all the time. Thank you. Um, my question kind of alludes to, you know, the question about hell and suffering that you had earlier. Um, you know, we're taught and we, we believe that God is omnipotent. You know, he's all, pre- you know, he's all, all present. So the question is, you know, being cast from the presence of God kind of goes against that, that God being all present. How can we be cast from the presence of God if he's all present? Well, again, you don't want to take that in a wooden literalistic sense, but in the sense in which it is intended to be separated from the loving grace and forgiveness of God means to be in God's wrathful presence. It does not mean that you're absent his presence, but you're absent his goodness, his glory, and his grace. You are now come under condemnation very much like those who are forfeiting the grace that could be theirs in the present. They could live under the grace of God, but rather choose to live under the wrath of God. So the wrath of God, um, God's not present in his wrath. No, he is present. It is to be in God's wrathful presence to be in hell. It is not absent his presence. It is to be absent his loving presence. Uh, So uh, God, uh, he resurrects all those who have lived on planet Earth. Some are resurrected to everlasting destruction. Some are resurrected to everlasting life. Everlasting destruction means to be shut out from the presence of God in the sense of his loving presence, his goodness, and his grace. 